Wisconsin Rapids. Um, this is, we were working on his uh, snow sculpture a couple of years ago, I think that was 2010. We didn't win, but uh, that the super, what do they call that, super, super snow super sculpture. Snow sculpture. Yeah. Yeah. Spectacular. Exactly. Um, so, you know, get the job of the PIO is to get to know these people. You don't have to be on teams with them, but we were friends at the time, so um, then he started editing my stories, and now we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> And, and goes and goes on. Can be reachable and known by local reporters yep. and editors for when they need information relating to amateur radio or Aries. Right. I, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Make sure they have your phone number, your email, if they have any questions. And sometimes they do. And especially if something <laughs> happens, they have to know or they should know, you know, if, say, they should know if you want them to tell the story that you would prefer them. Does that make, make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one, please. Keep informed of local amateur activities so interesting stories may be passed to the local media. Exactly. And this is why I'm always bugging you, Ken. Let me know what's going on. <laughs> but whoever whoever takes over this position, I think uh, somebody's already volunteered, but I'll let them. Well, we'll talk about it when we get finished here tonight. Yeah. Um, and I can help out with some of these contacts and how to write press releases. When, when do you, I mean, during the summer, are you going to be busy during the summer? This, the summer, I'm still working that out two weeks or so, I'll know. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Wish I had my notes. You want to keep reading them, Matt? Sure. Um, attempt to lessen the effects of bad press that reflect poorly on amateur radio operators or the organization as a whole. Now, this is what they in industry call damage control. Sometimes something happens with our organization or we're involved in something and our job ends up we go from trying to tell a good story to trying not to tell a bad story <laughs> and it can be really touchy and this is this is where it comes into play where the public information officer is the only one that should speak for the organization because the public information officer along with the emergency coordinator and the radio organization as a whole sits down and says this is the message we need to say this is what we need to say this is why we need to say it and that's why the public information officer really exists to get one message out you know, just for cases like this. What, what happens in events like this is he's talking about is you've got your vest on, you've got your handheld or your radios with you. The media sees you and thinks we're going to get a story out of this guy. It's hard not to talk to him, but it's best not to refer him to the public information officer. We may be giving something away that shouldn't be given away yet. It shouldn't be quite given away yet, right. And it's a sticky situation, and I know some people don't always agree with it. I've been in arguments before where, but also on the other side, it's not your job. It's the public information officer's job. You're there to communicate. And... If, if you're talking to the media, you could be missing something important. And some of what we do is potentially life and property. Next one, please. 
Pass information about future planned amateur radio events to the media for publication or participation. If we want people to show up at an event, we have to let them know. And it is our job as the P as PIOs to get it out to the papers, get it on the radio, get it on TV, whatever we need. And so we could call Channel 7 or Channel 9, hey, we're having field day. Would you like to show up and learn about amateur radio? Perhaps, you know, learn about Aries and what we do during emergencies. And it's a big piece. People won't, will not know what we do if we're not there. You know, if they, they are not there, if we do not tell them, the you know, reporters just don't pop out of nowhere. Although that one field day, I was rather surprised to see Jeff Williams at uh, Jim and Chris Podka's house, but <laughs> they did invite him. So. <laughs> Next one, please. Help local amateurs develop ideas for events to help promote amateur radio in a positive light. It, it's not just me who has to come up with these ideas, it's, but I'm willing to help. And even if I do resign, eventually I, I resign as PIO, I'm still here to help you guys because I have a lot of experience outside of radio that other people might not have, like making presentations, public speaking, whatever. Any questions so far? Don't raise your hand. They can't see you. <laughs> Internal to Aries? Yep. This is what we do inside of Aries, or although in this case it still could be considered Outside, does anybody not recognize at least one of these people here? Mm -hmm. Now the gentleman is a little more obscure. Anybody? He's one of our county supervisors, Doug Mahan. <laughs> Just recently elected, but um, I both I consider both of them good friends of mine. Uh, Matt, please work with local <coughs> work with local government officials to establish relationships. Help explain the role of amateur radio in Aries. Thank you. Now you know I've talked to Julie and Doug about amateur radio, and I've been meaning to give a presentation to the county board. And that's one of the things that I've been a little bit bu too busy to do. But, you know, um, with working with Steve Cruiser, like you have been, and other people in the county, is like that we're building a relationship that these people will know who we are and hopefully trust us. A lot of public relation is just building trust. Trust. I'm doing really good today. Um, and I think if you would want to break down the whole entire job of public information officer into one sentence, building trust, two words, I think, you know. But now we get into the, the part that people really don't like and it's working within the organization itself. Okay. Uh, internal to Aries, <coughs> work with ARRL to identify and publicize league stories of local interest. And I know that I've been pretty bad at that because I'm one of those people, I'm terrible at reading newsletters. I'm too busy doing other things. I write for three different blogs, and that's just for what I do for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't read as much as I probably should. Next one, please. Keep the section public information center informed of local events and activities. And Stephanie, is her name Schwartz? Schweitzer. Schweitzer, thank you. 
was yelling at me about that this morning. <laughs> no, we were, had a nice little conversation on Facebook, and I said, I'm sorry, you know, I haven't really been able to write a whole lot because I've been so busy, you know, uh, applying for graduate school, and I work on a farm as well, at least one day a week, and I'm not complaining, but that's the way it is. Next one, please. Assist in engaging amateurs in public speaking to help promote interest among community and service organizations. Which, in some ways, we've been doing uh, without my help, which is fine. Um, but the one thing that I wish we had more of was more activity in schools. But I don't know any teachers. and I do. Good. Um, I know a lot of parents, but <laughs> so you know this is again building up uh, trust with schools and then getting the word out so that people recognize us on the Fourth of July or Halloween Patrol or if we're come knocking on the door, you know, uh, telling them that their backyard is disappearing. You know, it's all about getting us getting our names out there and so that we can help people without them you know with, with, without them not knowing who we are and it's, that's in any volunteer organization you, that's our biggest problem who are you can I trust you uh, internal to Aries, keep the ARRL media and PR manager informed of any significant issues or events that are important to the league, either good or bad. And pretty self-explanatory. And, you know, I, I've written articles and, thing, and such like that about the good events, and luckily we haven't had anything bad happen here that I know of anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, but it is, again, um, for good, it's always good. For bad, well, do we need to do a cleanup? You know? And that's always the, the thing that we have to be concerned about. Um, in our, I tell people, and I've been telling people this for a long time, we are all public information officers in the sense that everything that we do reflects on the organization that we're a part of. So I would hope that most people, I hope that everybody would keep that in mind before, say, losing their cool on the radio or something like that. Next one, please. Uh, network and coordinate with other PIOs. Again, which is what I was finally doing this morning. And You know, we get so busy, but a lot of this is, you know, we're, we are a team. When I first came to Wood County about seven years ago, almost exactly seven years ago, <coughs> uh, I got involved in the Aries, the Aries at the time. Wood County was a bunch of rogues. Nobody wanted to <laughs> deal with this at all. And I was the only person that I know of at that conference, there was one gentleman from Port Edwards who was not related to the organization at the <coughs> time. I can't remember his, his name, but that's it. And I was, I just kind of walked away, shaking my head, going, "Wow, what did these people do to themselves?" <laughs> <laughs> Next one, please. Submit articles and photographs to ARRL for publication. Haven't done it yet, but it's not a bad idea. Um, I think you've got some pretty good candidates right in this presentation. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah, you use those. Yeah, well. <coughs> uh, before or during Aries <laughs> activation, uh, familiarize themselves with local emergency protocols establishes good working relationships with emergency response agencies to ensure that PIOs meet all requirements for participation. 
And if you're having trouble with this, Matt, I mean, this is the stuff 